I think he still does not want any full-blown war, number one. Number two, do I think he'll test the West, test the United States and NATO as, as uh, significantly as he can? Yes, I think he will. But I think he'll pay a serious and dear price for it that he doesn't think now will cost him what it's going to cost him. And I think he'll regret having done it. My conversation with Putin, and we've been, um, how can we say it? We have no problem understanding one another. He has no problem understanding me, nor me, him. And the, and the direct conversations were, I pointed out, I said, you know, you've uh, occupied before other countries, but the price has been extremely high. How long? You can go in and over time, at great loss and economic loss, go in and occupy Ukraine. But how many years? One, three, five, ten? What is that going to take? What toll does that take? It's real. It's consequential. So this is not all just a cakewalk for Russia. Militarily, they have overwhelming superiority in, on, on, as, as it relates to Ukraine. But they'll pay a stiff price immediately, near term, medium term, and long term if they do it.